Hi everyone, welcome to uh, my channel Pure Biology and today I come with another video uh, that is the classification of uh, plant and helmet this. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> before going to uh, this topic, I want to say thank you to all of you who have already subscribed my channel. And uh, you just check out the other classifications uh, that uh, I already uploaded uh, in my uh, channel. And uh, this is the another classification. Okay, so let's continue that. The platyhelminthes uh, is the phylum, and there are four classes. Okay, there are four classes. Okay, the four classes are first one, Turbularia, second one is sorry, second one is the Trematoda, third one is the Monogenia, and the fourth one is the Cystoidea, okay, and the subclasses are from Trematoda. There are two subclasses. One is the Digenia and Aspidogastria. And in Cystoidea, there are two subclasses: Eucystoda and Cystodaria. Okay, Cystodaria. One is the Eucystoda, another is Cystodaria. So first, these are the actual uh, classes and subclasses according to Rupert Barnes, okay, and of the platyhelminthes. The features of platyhelminthes is that the body is bilaterally symmetrical and dorsoventrally flattened. Next point is that these are triploblastic and acylomate animals. That means coelom is absent here. So, acylom, triploblastic means three layers, three jumps layer, jump layers are present. Third point is that body is very soft, but protective covering is the mucus. Okay, mucus is totally uh, protected the body, and actually, uh, it uh, not only protected the body, it lubricates the body. Sometimes, some of the species they have internal spicules. Fourth point is that anterior eye spots, chemoreceptive organs and rudimentary brain the feature of this uh, species or this not species this uh, platyhelminths. The fifth point is that mouth gastrovascular cavity that present but anus absent. Clear? Under this uh, phyla, there are the classes. Here, uh, here I explain only uh, the two classes. One is the <coughs> Tarbularia and another is the Trematoda. The Tarbularia is, there are the features. These are free living mainly, but uh, aquatic maximum cases, but sometimes these are terrestrial. And the terrestrial, those are, they live in the humid areas clear and aquatic species these are benthic second one is that these move by cilia or you can say that muscular undulations with the help of muscular undulations okay and that helps this muscular undulations or uh, muscular contraction relaxation you can say this help in the ciliary movement okay so they can move by cilia. Third part is that mucus that lubricates and protects the body. The fourth point is that mouth ventrally located at the end of eversible pharynx. Okay, and this pharynx continue to form a sac-like structure. So actually, at the end of the pharynx, you can say that the mouth is present clear second class is the trematoda here the body is cylindrical sometimes leaf like cilia here absent or uh, this is called rabditis okay this is absent but suckers present here clear suckers present uh, for the attachment mouth generally anteriorly present and body covered with cuticle and its example is planaria and it is divided into two subclasses that means under this class there are two subclasses one is the digenia 
and another is the aspirogastra. So, uh, surplus, the digenia, there are two features endoparasites, obviously, and the sucker pre present that is the oral sucker, oral sucker that surrounding the mouth. Many cases, the sucker generally sometimes uh, mid ventral, maybe mid ventral or posterior ventral. Okay, so that means oral sucker generally see that surrounding mouth. Some cases mid ventral or posterior ventral sucker also present. Example is fasciole. And next subclass, what are the example? These are also endoparasites. But here the single sucker that covering the entire ventral surface entire ventral surface okay and sometimes longitudinal sucker you can say that present okay its example is fasciola and its example is i have to check sorry coteosis coteosis C O T Y A S I S coteosis. Okay, so only two classes and its subclasses I have to describe you. Okay, so continue. Okay, so under the class uh, monogenia, the features are these are the ectoparasites. Okay, ectoparasites, not endoparasites and uh, the posterior attachment is there that is with hooks and suckers and the posterior attachment organ is known as the haptor okay this is called the haptor and the third part is the anterior end has adhesive glands so in the posterior uh, end there are the attachment and that is called the haptor but in the anterior end there are some adhesive glands for attachment also because the secretion of the adhesive glands is very important for attachment. And the last part is that mouth lacks suckers. There is no sucker present in the mouth. And the pharynx that secretes protease, one kind of substance that digests the host skin. Clear? So example is that polystoma. This is the, uh, these are the features of monogenia. Next class is the cystoidea. These are the endoparasites. Here, these are the ectoparasites, but these are the endoparasites. And they absorb the nutrients. Why? Because they haven't any digestive tract and mouth. Okay? These uh, haven't any mouth and digestive tract. So, they absorb the nutrients from the host directly. Third point is that absence of sense organ, no sense organ, but hooks and suckers are present. Under this class, there are two subclasses. One is the eucystoda and another is the cystodaria. In case of eucystoda, generally the body is very long, segmented and ribbon like. This is, okay, this is. And the body with colex, neck and strobina. This is called the colex. Okay, this is called colex, and the, all the fragmented body. These are called the. This is called the strobila. Strobila, and that contains the many segments, and these segments are called the proglutids. Okay, and the colex is very pin-like, very small structure, and that contains the suckers. Clear? So, example is tinea. And the second one is the cystodaria. This is another subclass. And here the body is very small and undivided. No division is seen here. Scolex is also absent. Sucker present at the anterior end. But proglotids absent. Okay. Proglotids absent. So, these are the features of class and subclass and phylum obviously of the platyhelminthes so here this uh, topic is completed and in my next video i will try to describe another uh, topic so continue with me and my channel and please subscribe 
and if it's uh, uh, helpful to you then you share this channel with your friends so thank you